the positive points of marrying somebody from the Philippines. Now, I've been giving Filipino women a bit of a hammering on here at the moment. Um, and I just want to put something in perspective here. The stuff I'm talking about in a negative way are things I'm aware of that has been ongoing and pretty common. A bit I haven't said is that most of the people we know, me and my wife, are happily married. But also the women I know, um, or we know, are of all good um, standing, should we say. Their view on life is a bit different to a lot of the negative women out there. Um, but they're all interconnected anyway. They all went to school together. Um, you know, be it primary school, secondary school, or um, university. They all had that cross reference. Now, you probably noticed something already. I mentioned university. Because <laughs> um, obviously, a lot of the women out there don't go just that, that far in their schooling. Um, but the circles we move in, they're a lot more focused. The women are a lot more focused. Even if they didn't go to the university themselves, they all worked. They all have jobs or um, have been ongoing. You know, they, they worked in Taiwan, Middle East. Um, they haven't had that blink of view that a lot of the guys meet with women, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of the guys that fall on the hard luck would f find it difficult to deal with some of these women purely because they're a lot more independent. They, they've supported their entire family before. They've put their brothers and sisters through school. Um, they've worked overseas. They, you know, even my wife um, has worked in Manila away from Cebu where, where her family are. Um, she's multilingual. So you've got the, these different types of people in the Philippines. And the, the reason I want to bring up the positive aspects was a conversation with my wife earlier today um, about Finland. <laughs> because there's um, one, of, one of our friends has got a fiance in Finland. And he's, he's on about the fact that the, a lot of the guys out there um, on their second time round, they've been married, got divorced, and, and they've they've seen the same way I did years ago. Um, because when when I separated with my ex before, I wasn't interested in going out with anybody. I was quite happily um, living on my own. I was looking to get in the Porsche, um, which is an in-house joke for us because I got married instead. Well, um, so the the uh, the point being is I was content on my own. I've been through the headaches that a lot of the guys have been through. Um, they don't want women that are wanting to be westernized. Or um, see, I'm no problem with western women. Is if they want to be equal. Um, where the problems happen is when they want to be equal when they choose. Um, there was, there was a, a financial advisor who was talking today about um, why are women's savings growing faster than men. Um, and I was being a bit cynical, but I didn't say it in the end. It's because the guy is paying for everything. <laughs> but often it's true. Um, equality doesn't actually mean equal. Um, I remember the, uh, the police in the UK, one of the um, they got sued because the the women wanted the um, the night shift allowance, but they didn't want to do the night shift because they work family friendly hours. But it's okay that the guys do it and get the allowance for it. But in the end, they they ended up with the night allowance payment. But still only working days. This is equality? I, I don't think so. I think it's bloody madness. Um, so yeah, that equality stuff drives me nuts because it's all one-sided 
and it's what's wrong with the Western world. Um, because, quite simply, it's not equality, it's just keep pushing for whatever you want and then whine about it if you don't get it. Um, so, yeah. But, as I was saying with this guy, Finland, it was. Because I think um, our friends already talked to other women there as well. The guys, second time round, have gone for Philippine women because they're not um, selfish. And that's the. This is where the, the equality thing gets mixed up. There's a difference between equality and being selfish. Selfish is exactly what it is. Um, we want everything to suit yourself and stuff stuff everybody else. That's selfish. It's not equality, but like that thing with the night shift allows. Don't want to do the hours, but want to get paid for it. It's selfish because you're not pulling your weight. Um, equality means regardless you're male or female, you do the same job. Um, really, it's a real hate for me because it's it's just a parasite on bloody most things these days because we everyone's so scared about. Uh, being sued, and the problem is half the time the, the legal system actually goes in favour of stupidity. Um, when I say stupidity, I'm not talking about women, because that, that's not a sexist remark. What I'm saying is the fact is the the agreement on something stupid. Um, for example, getting a night shift allowance for not actually doing a night shift, but you get it just because you're a woman. Doesn't make any sense. Um, Anyway, or guns are too big in the army, so we should make a second set of guns for women. All this sort of stuff. I do not understand what's going on with some people's logic. You know, when we we got budget cuts and the one that like, faff around with this sort of thing, reduce the heights on fire brigades and whatever um, because people are too short. I'm going, to go, I'm going completely off topic here, um, but the point is, the guys are aware that Philippine women, how they've got common sense, but the other side of it is they've got a sense of humour. Um, I find Philippine women generally are pretty easy going. They're not driven in the same way. They're they're not as grumpy because. I see a lot of women in the UK. They just seem miserable. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is. I think there's there's too much tension in their lives. Where Philippine women are generally happy. My wife smiles all the time. When I say all the time, I mean literally all the time. She, my wife's happy. Um, but I remember when we did the disaster relief um, when we took the convoy up to the north of Cebu. People were coming up and smiling and thanking us for helping. But also, there were smiles all the way, even in the queues, because it's just um, it's a built-in thing. You know, happiness and well-being is a personal thing. So, if you feel happy inside, then the rest of it doesn't really matter. You know, you can have a crappy day or whatever, but as a person, you're happy because you see from the positive side all the time. Um, you know, like that house may have blown away that day, but hey. We got free food. Somebody's turned up with it. So, you know that that's the sort of you know happy logic in things, and that's why I think a lot of guys are happily married because it's not that the wife will put up with more. I think it's just that the because they've got the family orientation. Um, if the guy's bringing the breadwinner and the, the, the woman's looking after the house, nobody knows. You've got that yin and yang thing going where you've got harmony in your life. Um, in the in the UK, I find that everybody's working. You know, the man and the woman's working, um, or whatever the relationship set, set up is. I'm not stereotyping anybody these days, um, but the fact is, kids come home to an empty house, which is why we have so many problems in family life in the UK. Um, same as many other countries, because kids don't have their parents around them as much. And I know I'm away a lot, but my wife's always at home, and the fact is, my wife may do some stuff to help me work-wise um, and administer with call center stuff, but at the end of the day, my wife's main function 
is to look after the home, look after the kids. Uh, my wife's happy doing that. Um, and a lot of women are quite happy doing that, given the opportunity. And I think in the, the UK, certainly, that balance has gone um, because we've moved away from um, being able to have a parent at home looking after the kids to uh, women's rights where they wanted women to have the opportunity and now you got to the point where they're forced to work because um, if both, part both parties aren't working in some way um, the bills don't get paid um, unless you're on Benefit Street <laughs> um, but yeah, so the point is, Filipino women, generally happy, go lucky people, or, or smiling. I, I haven't met a negative one yet. Um, and I love my wife, I'm more than happily married. Uh, but I just wanted to make this video very clear because I don't like um, running people down. But the, the last video about the negative traits is the fact is that's very specific niches. Um, because what you find is the average guy going to the Philippines to look for a woman comes from certain niches as well. Um, for example, from the US side, they've normally had some uh, ex service history, you know, they've been in the U Marine Corps or whatever, and they've come to the Philippines um, later on in life. Some of it's to do with going back to happier times, you know. Uh, that's why all the guys in the 60s plus, because they remember when they were there during uh, the Vietnam War, etc., World War II, whatever it is. Um, and they have positive memories of the Philippines. Um, that's why their marriage breaks down in the US. They already have this thing, they got a light comes on that says, I'm going to the Philippines. Because it was a happy time, and they saw the interlinks, you know, because they know the expectation. So, a lot of these things sit where people are coming from. Um, a lot of manual labor guys go to the Philippines to, to look for a partner. So, you get a lot of guys that, you know, single in the 50s plus, they have a certain uh, stereotype that they'll fit and obviously a lot of the women they're meeting will fit the other stereotype because the, that's the problem with stereotypes they end up matching um, and that's why certain people have a lot of problems in relationships because they fit those criteria um, so, but people like myself not, not blowing my own trumpet here I come from a professional background and I know some guys have fell into uh, some problems, but myself, um, I'm very family orientated. My, my life revolves around family, um, and I fit into Philippine life um, pretty easily. But other guys may be professional, but at the same time, they're not people that are easy to deal with, regardless of where or what their partner is because they're just difficult people <laughs> so the point of is here is you can find a fantastic wife in the Philippines but it's all about doing your homework meeting the right person taking your time understanding each other building up a real relationship um, otherwise you may be heading like the Titanic into an iceberg because you haven't spent the time building something up because you've engaged with the this beautiful woman you know the most beautiful woman you think um, has took an interest in you and you feel like wow this is the one because she's engaged with you she seems everything's fantastic before you can go out there and meet them don't rush in there's nothing that says you have to get married next week, next month, next year. Just take your time. Because the, the whole point in life is happiness. And happiness doesn't happen overnight. If you were happy already, 
you won't be going so far to meet somebody. So just take your time, make sure you got the right person, and also you'll find that you'll make some mistakes along the way. But so what? The main thing is, any mistakes you make are livable. Um, and if something goes wrong, always look at the um, the positive side. There's been guys that turn up to the airports and find out their partner that they were meeting was a guy or already married, got kids, whatever it is. The fact is, don't let it run uh, drag you down. Just see it as another opportunity to meet somebody else. Um, there's no shortage of women in the Philippines. But meeting a good one can be a needle in a haystack. But if you meet a bad one, just to put it down as experience, and you'll know better second time around. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.